Hello and welcome to the video. Uh, this is just a quick video going over the most recent update for Borderlands 3 which came out on September the 26th, 2019. You know, just in case one year from now they're still doing updates, which would be fantastic. So, on Xbox at least, I don't know what the sizes were on PC or PlayStation, but the update was about 170 megabytes, if I remember correctly. So yeah, we're just going to go over all the little bits and bobs that are in here. And unlike other videos where I've talked about the updates, I'm actually going to, at the very end, talk about uh, two, maybe three bugs that I've experienced while playing Borderlands 3 so far. But yeah, so, so far, so we've got performance, PC only, reduces the amount of texture streaming that was occurring while aiming down sights. And these were now are not PC only. Addressed a reported concern where you uh, certain users with a lot of people in their friends list saw more frequent hitching. Implementing general stability improvements. Hopefully that will address one of my problems I'll be going over later. General fixes and improvements. Addressed a reported issue where Killer Vault, who is a, um, a mini optional boss in the game, Killer Vault's shield storm attack does not disable the tiles around Killer Vault, resulting in the entire floor being activated. Oops. Addressed a potential progression blocker in the mission Footsteps of Giants. Addressed a reported issue where uh, Guardian rank ranks had the potential to become non-functional and or the player could potentially lose guardian rank tokens into the negatives. That happened to me, let's have a look. Oh. No, no, still got my ranks, all good. Um, modified vending machines, so it will now sort items by rarity. Ooh, I like that. Um, console SO, uh, FOV is now set to 7, so field of view, is now set to 75 by default. This will not affect players who have already started the game. Special prompts with particular text, uh, TDR guns, critical, immune, are now properly localized. Good. Actually, there's another bug which I've been having, so I've got another one to mention. Addressed a reported concern that certain players experienced where the vehicle's boost could continue into the next map. Doesn't seem like a bug though, I guess. Well, it is a bug, but it doesn't seem like a, like a concern. Uh, addressed a potential concern where a uh, porcelain pipe bomb, uh, with porcelain pipe bomb, uh, where it would set off multiple explosions when collo uh, colliding with objects. Now there's a little text under it. This grenade was never meant to explode multiple times enemies in the Borderlands universe are now safe from being instantly melted by a radioactive poop. <laughs> a UI adjusted a verbiage for left stick and right stick inside the Russian localized version of the controls option screen. Addressed a reported issue where certain users experienced a failure of audio to play when spending skill points in the UI. The text is now correctly marked invalid when the uh, when you enter a invalid email address on the shift account All right. shift account creation page addressed a reported issue where the item of the day item card would flash briefly before displaying on vending machines See, there's not too much more but there's a, a little bit more let's quickly move you so you can get see something different for a bit oh, yeah. welcome home everyone likes to be home uh, where are we Ooh. Iron Bear button prompts will now correctly update if you rebind your controls. Modified various feet elements of Crazy Old Store. We'll go we'll pop down and check, see what that is. Address the reported issue where subtitles wouldn't display until after certain cutscenes, or the initial cutscene, sorry. Addressed an issue experienced by certain players that social notifications could become stuck on screen. Addressed a player concern that certain item preview images were failing to load inside the player bank. This one's PC only. Addressed an issue reported by certain PC players where the focus from the mouse's last known location was sticking around even when players um, playing with the gamepad. With a gamepad. Addressed an issue reported by certain players where the cursor would snap to the unintended location in the UI. Oh, so maybe the first three actually were PC only, because that one was 
on a PC anyway. All right, split screen and online multiplayer. I dressed a uh, I'm not going to say I dressed a certain concern by certain players because they all say that. So I'm just going to go right after the play. It starts with probably that. That the dialogue volume faded too low before switching to echo audio during split screen. That sounds were quiet or missing for the second split screen player if they moved too far from the uh, from player one. That three player groups uh, were having trouble matchmaking with an additional solo player. That in split screen one player's sprinting animation could be interrupted by the other player opening an echo menu or the echo menu. That in split screen where one player's aiming down the sights could be interrupted by another player opening the echo. Yeah, yeah. Um, addressed a handful of reported client replication issues. Addressed Tina's pizza bomb so it displayed uh, correctly for clients. Modified certain audio elements that were reportedly looping for clients. Addressed a reported player concern for the Guardian skill Dead Man's Hand now functioning properly. All right. Player icons are now pinned to the side of the minimap where player when playing in any kind of multiplayer. Pinned to the side of the minimap. Oh, so. Before, I don't know about when someone's health, because when I play, like, um, my friend's health is above mine. Is that what they're all about? This update contains the first batch of performance fixes. It's far from exhaustive, but we wanted to address issues and concerns that change. Oh, yeah, so this is just going over it now. And it's just telling you about uh, different sort of stuff. So, yeah, so that's basically all the patch notes. And I wanted to go over a few bugs that I've been having with the game since... It's not something that I usually do. I tend to keep all bugs I've experienced with a game to myself since there's not really a great deal of, um, you know, throwing shade, I guess, at a game company, especially for a game that I really love. The only game I've done it with, even though I love the company, um, was Fallout 76, where I made a little quick video showing you this infinite sprint, not infinite sprint, where my stamina was infinitely depleting, even if I stopped running. But I'm just going to quickly go over some, because hopefully these will get fixed in the future, so no one else has to go through them. So the first one is, when I've been trying to play co-op, sometimes, and this is the biggest one, Borderlands shuts my Xbox off. Like, I'll be loading into a game, and then my Xbox will completely power off. And it's happened about five or six times, all while playing with the same person. So either he's cursed, or it's just a, that's just a weird problem. Um, I had one recently as well, where when this update happened, these aren't them, so it's a bad time to show you actually. Every weapon that I had in my bank got deleted, they just disappeared. So if you haven't done this update already, I'd recommend checking your bank and taking out the guns you want to keep. Because it's not a, not a nice glitch. I've also had one where this menu won't go off the screen. I'm walking around and it's got a gun stats just plastered all over the screen. Um, I think I've had I think I've had one more glitch which has happened a few times, but now that I'm talking about them, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, this has been like the glitchiest Borderlands I've experienced so far, which is just um, you know I'm I'm a nice guy and I'm a forgiving guy, so for me it hasn't affected my enjoyment of the game even in the slightest. I, I've loved loved it regardless, and if I was reviewing the game, you know I wouldn't really hold the gl uh, the glitches against the game. I would just you know let you know at the end. But yeah, so that's basically this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day. Bye now.